Uh, usually when it's um, when you're getting towards the end of the week, I'm normally you know, really tired, laid back. And to make matters worse, last week it was so cold that I didn't really want to do any work. So got into the uh, studio and uh, had a look at my Facebook and there was a message from Joel from uh, Fluent CRM. And you know what? <sighs> he had some amazing news and this was updates to Fluent CRM. Now, the first update was quite expected, but the second update really blew my mind. So this is what we're going to be talking about today. And let's dive in and let's talk about the first update for Fluent CRM. Okay, so I'm going to switch over here to my site. So in order for us to uh, go to Fluent CRM, we need to click here on Fluent CRM, click on dashboard. And this now is going to show my dashboard. So the first update was the ability to export our contacts. So before this update, it was quite impossible for us to export all our contacts on our database. But now when I come over here to all contacts, we now have a button here on the top, which says export. And when we click on it, it gives us these options. So by default, you can uh, it exports your email, first name, and last name. That happens by default. But if you want to add other parameters, you can just come over here. Let's say a phone number is important in your case. You can just add it here. You can add the country as well. And once you've done that, you can also come over here and uh, uh, add your limit. So you can limit how many users you want to export. And then over here, you can also add your offset. Right. So in my case, I'm just going to keep things very simple here. I am just going to go ahead and click on export contacts. And you can see here the contacts have been downloaded on a CSV file. This is great. Now, this is, to be honest, to be expected when you run an email automation system or an email software program. But of course, we didn't have this initially. But the fact that this was added this fast to me just put a smile on my face. Now, Let's move on to the next update, the one that I say blew my mind. Okay, so let's check it out. So I'm just going to cancel out of here. So the next update is over here on uh, the settings. But before I do that, we need to prepare our tags before we can actually use this feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my um, contacts, click on tags. So the tag I've created here is called interested in course. So that's what I want to track. So it doesn't really matter what you want to track. You can pretty much track anything on your site. It could be someone that visited a sales page or, you know, it doesn't really matter. But in my case, I want to track people that come to this landing page for my course. Okay, right. So all I have to do now is create a tag called interested in course and uh, creating a tag is easy. You can just click here on this plus button and then you can just give your tag a title here and then hit confirm and your tag will be added over here. OK, great. So now that we have a tag next, we need to come over here to settings. Click here on settings and you are going to notice smart links over here. So I'm going to click on smart links. So right now we don't have any setup. I'm going to click here on add new smart link. So the way to look at smart links is to look at them like uh, a service called Bitly, where you can create these URLs and you have the ability to track them. But this now is even much better because not only can you track the clicks, but you can also add tags, <laughs> right? And then those tags can trigger some automations in your automation process. All right, so let's check it out. So over here, we're going to give this a title. OK, so I'm going to say interested in course. And then over here is where we want to add the target URL, which is going to be this URL here. So let's copy it. Then back over here, I am going to paste this. So anyone that comes to this page, I'm going to be able to add a tag and start my automations. Over here now, I'm going to apply my tag. And this is why a few moments ago, I mentioned that we need to create the tag first before we can add it over here. So this is why this is very important. But you know what? I wish there was a, an option where you could just click a plus button here and add the tag from here. But perhaps maybe that could be added in the next update. But for now, I think this is good enough. I'm going to click here on interested in course. So that's going to be my tag. Now you can take this a step further and add the person that clicks on this link to a list. So the list needs to be created beforehand in order for you to add it over here, because that, as you can see, I only have two lists. OK, so now that I've created my tag, I can now create the smart link. Go ahead and create it. And here it is. So this is a unique link. So now I can copy it. 
So let's see what happens when I go to incognito mode. So I'm going to close out of here. And this is the link. You go hit enter. Notice what happens. It's going to take me to this page. So all my users that click on this link, I will be able to track them. So this is the power of this. So now that I've added this. So now let me see if this has worked. So I'm going to come over here to contacts, uh, all contacts. And this is my profile here. I'm going to click on it. And notice now we have interested in course. So definitely this is working. So the question now is, what if the user is not logged in. So if the user is not logged in, it doesn't really work because you need to have those subscribers first or those uh, customers first on your site in order for you to add new tags onto uh, their profile. So this doesn't work when you're not logged in. But you can also be fancy with this and because Fluent CRM also has uh, cookies. Now, it's a bit more detailed. I'm going to have a, another video where I go into detail on how we can track uh, people who are not logged on the site, okay? But for now, these people have to be on your mailing list in order for you to be adding all these extra tags and adding them onto new automations. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you next what we can do as well. So let's come over here to automations. So I am going to click here on create new automation and I am going to say test. I'm going to come over here to CRM, tag applied, hit continue. So the tag here is going to be interested in course. So I'm going to run this when the contact is added to any of these tags. So I'm going to hit save settings. So now you can go crazy with your automations. So where can you add this unique URL, the smart link? Where can you add it? Basically, you can add it pretty much everywhere. Let's say you have a mailing list and uh, you're sending out emails. You can track really who is clicking on that link and this could trigger another automation on your system. So if you have a site where you have a lot of people that have signed up for a freebie, but you want to introduce them to other areas, the smart links can really give you an idea of how people are interacting with your site. So that's very, very powerful. So you can use this on existing emails. Next, you can also use it on social media. So let's say you have um, a Facebook group and you want to see how many people are interacting from your Facebook group to your website. You can tag them using this system. You can also use these on, uh, say, your description links on uh, YouTube or any other social media platform. It is just fine. Or even on your actual website. So this is just a URL that you can add to buttons. It can be links. It can be anything. So like I say, the idea is if you think about it as, say, a bit.ly, but this is now like a bit.ly on steroids because you can add tags, you can add people to lists, and you can automate that whole process. So as you can see, you can see how I am really excited about this feature. This is amazing. And this is going to allow us to even add even more intelligence to our websites and basically understanding how people are using our website and what links they are clicking. So this is very, very powerful. So I'll be sharing more tips and techniques on how to use this feature. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any more questions, please leave your questions in the comments box below and I'll do my best to respond to them. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.